Hi, this is Susan Leventero. We're going to do the Leo April reading. I think that's the only sign I haven't done the April reading. Okay. All right, so let's see. Let's get started. First, when I look at this, I, if you look at it from far away, this looks like a planet, right? And then it, or like, you know how when the clouds exchange energy. So it's, I feel like this message is all about how we exchange energy, right? And orange can be, uh, symbolize all kinds of things, happiness. Um, here it looks kind of like Mars, right? <laughs> okay, so that could have been the past for some, that energy um, used for uh, positive or negative, right? Okay, now for business, I feel like if you're using that energy uh, instead of uh, fighting and towards more positive things, I feel like you've already achieved a great amount of uh, success. Okay. And when I say uh, fighting, extreme fighting, right? Um, okay, so. And I feel like, um, here's a little sunflower. Okay, so it's like, uh, joy and happiness and uh and sunflowers can also symbolize the sun too right okay so here's like two suns then okay all right so let's see what this says perfectionism be content to know uh perfection of a perfection as a distant utopian goal to which we journey but never arrive okay I ooh three three um I see it differently I feel like we all are perfect and it doesn't matter what degrees of distortion we choose there is a golden nugget golden nugget in everything okay so And what seems not perfect, there is some sort of, um, mathematical order behind it. Okay. Okay, that's interesting because I did a daily reading for you yesterday and it was like spending time with daughter or child and here it is in the cards, right? Okay. All right. And here is a, a spark. Okay. Looks like a flower and also it looks like hands a little bit, right? Okay, so that's like cr the creative force. Building something new here. Spending time with family. Uh, legacy. And didn't this card come out before? Okay, Greyhound. Oh, okay. For those of you who have had a pet crossover, you can still connect with them. That's a message here for someone. Okay. All right. Okay, nurture, self-care, okay. Yeah, I think Leos are always active, right? 
uh, they're leaders and, and always doing things. So it's important to take time for self-care, right? It says try loving and nurturing yourself as you would a child or pet. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then here is, and then that's one energy, right? Okay, so that's unity, connection. Okay, and through feeling good, then we can connect in more positive ways with others, right? Including our children or our animals. Okay. The clarity, interactivity, and timing of communication is critical. Okay, so I'm feeling Aries energy here, so... Like I said, I feel like a lot of you are leaders and doing things uh, uniquely different than others and uh, uh, blazing new trails. Okay. And uh, this message has been like since I started this tarot thing <laughs> is communication is key. And Mercury is actually... Uh, Moving fully into the transit is moving into Aries. So I feel like this is a great time to uh, renegotiate contracts, uh, communicate in positive ways, um, have collaborations with people, or at least start the discussions about it. And... Um, so I feel like this is a April is a great time for that. See and wish granted. Okay, believe in your abilities as a magic maker to manifest your wishes. They will soon be your reality. Ooh. Okay, so here we have it four, which is love for me, right? Okay, so we have infinity, infinity. Okay. Woo. Okay. It's like mirrored. Okay, mirrored infinity. So I feel like that's, this is wonderful. Okay. Okay, so when you're in this kind of trailblazing energy, um, you want to, uh, if you feel any sort of, anything other than infinite potential, if you feel anything other than infinite potential, uh, you want to see where you could release that kind of guard or shield from the past, right? Okay, when it comes to business stuff. Okay. And how you can be safe is like uh, making sure you understand contracts the details, if there's any kind of wording that you're not sure about, uh, to ask all the questions. Um, and because the wording um, can mean everything, right? And you might have to hire sometimes a professional to really understand the contracts for some things, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that looks really good. Okay, so that's for the first week of April. Second week. Okay, so here is like more of that collaboration energy. Okay. All right. I don't know why this reminds me of space, the Netherlands, and um, and it reminds me in the forest uh, on my aunt's property. One time I went with her, and she. I went to go see a house with a windmill thing on it like this. Um, and it was in the, in the forest. So, um, I think that the message there is, is to spend time with nature, right? And then this could also mean cycles, right? And it also could mean the four directions here. Okay, and here is the pyramid lifting it, so ancient ancestors of the past. Okay, also I would get what that is, okay, so they were connected to that Orion star. So what I would say with that is be careful of the patterns that you may not be conscious of that you might be repeating. Okay, so I will look at that. Okay. And then here we have 
uh, the peacock, right? Which symbolizes beauty and, and maybe even power and love. Okay, so, so this is feeling more confident in yourself is what I'm picking up here. Uh, having that shoring up your self-esteem. And what people don't understand is, is that just because a person becomes famous or something like that doesn't mean that they don't have the same human things going on, right? Okay, so. All right, so there's that. Okay, so this looks like a little bonsai tree right to me okay so maybe someone would find pleasure in uh, doing um uh, ikebana or bonsai something with flowers and uh also this looks like a hair strand it also could be dna right so it's like Shoring up that physical body. Um, okay, so that reminds me of like spring rain. Okay, so hair strands. Okay, so that could be connection, right? Connectivity. Feeling connected to the all. And through feeling good, right? we feel we can feel more connected some of you might be going to Asia because or live in Asia because there's a lot of Asian themes here too like a this looks like Asian uh, art down here a little bit okay uh, Japanese maple leaf maybe okay so we have this one So I feel like there's some been some time. Okay, so some of you maybe hit the pause button to kind of see where you wanted to build, right? Okay. Because here it's like uh, there's, uh, to me it looks like angel wings, right? So it's like you built something beautiful in the past, some things that you really are proud of and you like to recreate more of that. Okay, and then here is this cosmos here. Okay, so uh, this could be Jupiter where there is uh, luck in the seeds that you plant, right? And take action steps in. All right, so let's see what this says. Okay, evolution, right? Seek out or act a positive inspiring and helpful muse to another's creativity. Okay, so this is, again, it's like about connection. Um, here we have evolution, creative ideas evolve out of the invisible and profound nothingness of proverbial consciousness. That looks like it, it was represented here, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Trust. Sometimes this one is hard, right? When people break your trust, then it's like, now what, <clears throat> right? How do we do this? <laughs> trust that you were born a creative being and have never stopped being one, yeah. That's what I, I, I you know, people think that uh, sometimes that they're not doing enough, right? And I feel like just being here and, and just being you is contributing because you can't not think, right? And that goes into the melting pot of creation because we're all connected, right? Just like the strands. Okay. Okay, so it's like a river here, right? Go with the flow. Okay. And then cooperation. Your goal can benefit from you surrounding yourself with like-minded people. Yes, I think that is so important. It's like if you're high-vibing and positive, you can be around anybody, right, and find some joy in it. But sometimes it's like 
it's easier just to take the 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 easy path <laughs> which is hang out with people that are gonna uh be in that kind of uplifting energy with you right okay uh, those people who are the cooperative components to the all, right? Okay, that's what I would say. And here's cycles. The wind blows, the wheel turns. Okay, didn't we have that one that looked like the Netherlands? Where was that? Oh, it, this is the card. Oh, okay. Okay, the wind blows, the wheel turns. We go through cycles just like nature because we are a part of nature. Okay. Yeah, that's nature is a great teacher. Anytime there's any kind of uh, thing that's you don't feel clear, a lot of times just going and watching nature can open it, open the doors. Okay, so here is that uh, innovation, creative energy too. Here, have fun and experiment. Inventing something that surprises and has never existed before. Okay, so I think we're all reaching for this, especially with that Uranus energy, right? Okay. What is this? Did we do this one? No, that's it. Stay there. Okay. All right, so this is the third week here. So I feel like here, this is like two of wands to the three of wands. Okay. And, uh... Okay, so here it's like every animal print is uniquely different, right? It's like appreciating uh, each human that way, right? Knowing that they have something to contribute from a different point of perception. Okay, and... Um, Here, I feel like for some of you, you're looking at someone that you um, are interested in, and I feel like there's distance there. Now, I don't know. Let's see. For some of you, it's emotional distance. Some of you, it's distance. Okay. Like, there's a body of water there. Okay. Okay. I feel like that person is preoccupied with stuff. <laughs> Some are focusing on their careers. Okay. All right. So I'm getting earth horse here. Okay. Some are trying to find uh, peace and harmony with a partner. So I feel like if you reached out. So, ooh, look. Is that a donkey or a horse? Okay, donkeys. Columbia? What does it look like if I turn it this way? Looking to the Ford. Looking forward, okay. All right, so looking at other points of perception other than the past, right? Okay. And I feel like it's going to come together here. Look. What does that say? Woo! Partnership. Once you've had, once you have decided to walk your path in partnership, you must put the relationship first. And I think that was the reading yesterday was like, I felt like work came first yeah, work came first. Okay, so this this has been coming up for several people, so it might be a collective thing. Reassessing your priorities and what is important to you and taking a good look at that, right? And then, like, what's my top three? And can I incorporate it all together, right? How can I be inclusive with all of this? Here's direction, insight, and partnership. Here it says, switch gears, reboot, and try new and different direction. Okay. See beyond appearances, masks, cliches, and cultural stereotypes to gain insight. Yeah. And that's, I feel like that's uh, represented 
uh, in what we're seeing uh, right now, right? Globally. All right, so it's like getting past that and seeing uh, what is really going on. Okay, so here's uh, potential for union, right, in the third week, okay, of April. That potential's here. Okay, so now this card came up, uh, and it was like the angel was pulling. I can't remember which reading, but uh, it was like the angel was pulling, saying, come this way, come this way, right? And what is this? Ooh, okay, so come this way, be curious, right? Be spontaneous and wonder and move forward. Look ahead and stretch above your present circumstances. Okay, yeah, new start. Sometimes we must realize that what we have done needs to be discarded. We must make a new start. Six, six, and a nine. Ooh, Cancer had uh, the three, six, nine, and I think they had two sixes too. Okay, all right, so be spontaneous, right? Be ready, that's what that means. Be ready to be spontaneous. If you get a call and someone uh, flirts with you, uh, maybe take action on it, right? Okay, instead of uh, pondering it in your head. Yeah, see, look. Take a risk. Be aware or you will have to beware. Do not deny the risk and hazards that you see. Okay, and this is all about following your own guidance system and knowing what is your gut telling you. If your gut says no, then the suggestion is usually no, <laughs> right? Okay, uh, manifestation. Soon you may have, uh, may manifest the goals you focus, okay, spiritual energies upon, okay. Yeah, you could always enlist spirit, right? Pray and ask spirit to assist you, okay, and then that can bring in the manifestation faster, okay, Share. To help you make progress, it's a good idea to share what you have and what you can care about. Okay. All right. So, okay. Yeah, I feel like this has been a message, right? Extreme selfishness can cause unhappiness, not just for yourself, but for others. And uh, so... And there are different reasons why people grow up that way or choose to harness that kind of energy. But it, it's uh, this has been kind of a message is to, um, yeah, share. It's like altruism and altruistic energy, right? It's But it's moving in that inspired giving inspired giving see and that helps you to feel light too okay some of you might be going to france okay provence or something okay these look kind of greek to me <laughs> okay well the little neon fish okay all right so let's get uh Let's see, what can we do? Oh, well, let's get Pearl of Wisdom and then close out. Okay. Here we go. Take control of events while they are peaceful. Prevent difficulties before they arise. And see, that was the thing. It was like, manage your emotions early so that they don't blow up, right? Okay, prepare for um, prepare for the rough spots while the going is still smooth. Deal with the situation before it de descends into chaos. Lao Tzu. Oh my goodness. This is from. Okay. Wow. I wish I I <laughs> I, I wish uh, people would. Uh, wow. Okay. 
Take time out <clears throat> before any brewing conflict that you can sense reaches ahead. Try to mentally step outside of the situation into spacious state of mind. That is the aim of yoga, buddhi. You can do this by practicing any asana, breathing, or meditation technique in this book. Oh, they're all over YouTube. Okay. Once you have opened the door to the booty state of mind, tensions will start to fall away. All right. Nerve soothing mantra. When something angers you, repeat bija mantra or seed sound, S-O-M, some... This is valued for soothing the nerves and encouraging the measure response. Okay. Let it go. Holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone. You are the one who ends up uh, getting burned, right? That's what it says here. The Buddha. Okay, so that says the Buddha here, India. Okay, woo, this is like, yeah, that's how these little wars get started, right? Okay. All right. Cleansing twist poses. Twists ring out and re-energize the spine. As you practice twisting triangle pose or seated twist, imagine squeezing out your tension. Each time you exhale, let go of anger and negativity. Each time you inhale, picture clear energy being absorbed into the left and right sides of your body, rebalancing them for greater equanimity. Okay, yeah, rebalancing them for greater equanimity. Okay, let troubles go. Let the past drift away with the water. Ooh, Japanese saying. Okay, you had a car like that. Let the past drift away with the water that you had the river, right? Ooh, okay. And here's, the, it's there too. Okay, all right, so that's interesting because this looks Japanese and then you end with a Japanese saying. Okay, <laughs> okay, I leave you with that. Thank you.